the alignment shop in Kitchener. And I wonder what is that thing? That looks like a caterpillar. And uh, yeah, this is KW Spring. Check this out. Established 1962. <laughs> So, it's my age and this was quite an adventure getting in here like the address the address for the shop says Cortland Avenue is that one right and then my uh, Google map says turn here and then go around and I see the roads get more narrow and more narrow. So I stopped here and then I turned to the right and I see this from my passenger window. What the heck? So I parked here and I went inside and I talked to them and they said, yeah, you know, I gave them my phone number and they said, stay there on the road because it's very tight in here. Uh, and we'll give you a call. And I was facing, I was facing, I was facing that way. And there was crazy traffic here in the morning because this is all residential area. And so I looked at my Google Maps and it looks like there's a chance to turn around over there. And see, and in the distance, I don't know, there's a stop sign. And I went there and turned left and there's a school. And I barely made that turn because there's cars all over the place. And there's a school and the sign says dead end. And so I parked the truck and I went and I just went for a walk to investigate because I don't want to get stuck at a dead end, right? And there was like a circle that, you know, created for people to turn around after they drop off their kids at school. <laughs> I went into the circle <laughs> and did some fooling around there, but managed to get out. And then I parked facing this way in front of that car. The car came later and they told me there was a trailer in door four they said once the guy is gone in five minutes you can come in and so again i barely made this corner and i i killed the suspension on the rear axle which of course makes the trailer turn much easier and i went like this and then this way and of course when my truck was at the edge of the road the trailer was still here and so I turned on my flashing lights on the roof there and I had to go all the way to the opposite shoulder. <laughs> and then I was able to back in. It was, it was tricky. And I backed in. And so I have one flip axle. You see how narrow it is. I have one flip axle. I have one flip axle down and the other one is and the other one is on the top and the guy says well uh, he says let's flip the uh, let's flip the axle and he points to the one on the top he says let's flip the axle because he says there's no other way like we cannot align it when it's on the top there and I said okay and I look at the ceiling they have uh, something that looks like a ceiling crane and then I took the chain off and I step back and I'm waiting and the guy looks at me I look at him and he says Oh, it doesn't go by itself down. <laughs> I said no. I said I thought you had a you you had a crane or something. And then I looked closely, closer, and that thing is just you know one of those old um, kind of like what you use like a bunch of chains with a block. You know, like you can lift something like a small engine or something, right? But it's definitely. Uh, not gonna lift uh, 3,000 pound, you know, axle assembly. And he says, oh, we have a forklift, but he says, the forklift, it's like a very small forklift. He says, it'll just kill the forklift. So this flip axle is a constant, you know, pain in the butt. 
And I told the guy, I said, yeah, some guys install hydraulics in there, but the problem is like it's a modular trailer i need i need that axle to be you know flexible so i can if i need to use the spreader like three plus one two plus two i can separate it right if i install hydraulics uh, i won't be able to do that so and so and and because yeah i said can't you just align it where it sits like this maybe measure the distance from the axles to the eyes in the front he says no he says the only way to align them is he says push them tight against each other and then he says you pull your spike and you mean, by spike he means this trailer brake right and then you back you back with the spike on so which will compress these flip axles he says make them super tight and then we say he says we're gonna align them one to to each other which of course is not exact science because you know well but yeah when i'm back if i'm backing and the brakes are on on those flip axles it should uh kind of like compress them but it's hard to do it basically but this guy sounds like he knows what he's talking about but because i cannot flip the axles flip the top axle he says uh, I said okay let's do the one because for my next load I don't need uh, eight axles and I'll be using seven you know for this dozer so at least if he can fix this one at least you know I'll be driving straight and then I said uh, uh, my next load after that is an excavator and I'm gonna flip I'm gonna use the excavator to flip the axle down and I said then I can come over with uh with the flip axle down but again like i'm thinking if i put that axle down how do i <laughs> how do i back in here you know because the 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 trailer will be so much longer and it's it's i'm telling you like backing in with uh with four ac with a four axle trailer in a spot like this all this crazy traffic over here so I don't know. But the guy says, you know, it has to be connected. Basically, yeah, the, the axle has to be connected to something. And I see now what they're doing is in the mirror. Well, yeah, it's impossible to see. It's too dirty. But what they're doing in the mirror, I see that they attach those, you know, special concoctions, uh, like a frame. They attach it to the first axle of the trailer. You see, so what they're gonna do is they're gonna use the trailer as a reference point for this flip axle. And I told him, I said, yeah, the trailer is fine because I, as soon as I lift the the flip axle, like number three now, the trailer goes straight. So it's the flip axle. And so that's the slight setback. You know, I thought I'd be leaving with both flips aligned turns out no but at least one is good so then sunday morning i'm leaving to pick up the dozer in pa uh, loading monday and so i'll be back tuesday and i'm going back to pick up the excavator and so probably i'll be back like thursday friday and then we can uh, book another appointment here uh, so that's what's happening uh yeah the weather went went to rain so it looks like this see on the windshield and uh, a very nasty you know kind of like you want to you want to go and sleep all day and these guys over here they do not just alignments you know they install they they modify suspensions they install springs you know like uh, i remember this name uh, when i had a cargo van a long time ago i was thinking of reinforcing the suspension and these guys can install extra springs you know bigger shocks uh, it's a very useful thing especially like for dump trucks you know that carry a lot of weight 
And that's why these guys are crazy busy. They're very busy. So to book this, I, I call them Tuesday. And um, well, I hope they do a good job. So this is it. This is just a quick update from Kitchen Ontario doing alignment. Stay tuned.